Hey, what is going on, guys? That's my brother Shane, and my name is Austin, and today we are reacting to Attack on Titan. Before we begin, feel free to check out our Patreon. That link can be found in the description below. There you can get full and uncut reactions to shows and episodes such as this. But yeah, here we are. Um, last episode of part two. I know. That's crazy. It's very, very bittersweet. I don't know. Very bittersweet. It just came so fast. Like, yeah, right. These episodes flew by. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's been already like 12 weeks of this. That's which insane. Which is crazy. Crazy. Actually, 13 since... There's no episode last yeah. week. Yeah. And this is our first experience watching it live. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it's been it's been crazy. The season's been crazy. Oh, my God. The season actually has been insane. But yeah. It definitely started out hot and yeah, slowed down a little bit. I agree. I definitely like the first half slightly better, but all in all, pretty good season. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and right now, I have no idea what's, what's about to happen. No. I really don't. That's the beauty of Attack on Titan. Exactly, though. yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're like a manga reader, you're just like sitting there laughing. Like, yeah, like, oh, Jason, like, you guys oh, wait. You, oh, you are in for it. Right? I bet that's what they're saying. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a crazy journey. I've loved every second of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, Attack on Titan is considered my favorite show of all time that I've seen, I think. Right. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> it is. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not over. It's been great. Yeah, it really has been. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, I guess it's time to finish out this part. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this episode. Damn birds. <laughs> oh, because... God. Ooh. Ooh. What? Eden was a shocker and any more cavate in I. Are they Eden Honda in a sugata to Stara? What does she want? Eden no nanny or me take another. Wow. Are we going back? Is this a flashback? Yo, yo! Wow, look at him. Hey! Oh. <laughs> There's no way. Damn, look at him. Oh, the suits. Wow. Oh, 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 wow. I've been wanting, we've been wanting that. We have. Like flashback stuff. I didn't think. Marley and all that. I thought we weren't going to get it because no, it's been so long. Same. Hey, okay. <laughs> this is, this is so great. I love this. Of course. This is too wholesome after no. what we've just seen. Let's go. Oh, so I'm see Levi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. 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 You just got pickpocketed. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, she's no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is so great. This is too wholesome. God, it's a clown. What the fuck? What the? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Oh my god. What the? It's on kiddos. If only he knew. Oh. Oh. 
エレンも食べてアイスか知ってたの親父の記憶で知ってるだけだうん主役のエルディエ人はめったに食えない壁の外はこんなに広いのにな私たちは気づかなかったもしくは気づきたくなかったのだろうわおおいそれはお前の財布じゃねえぞおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおの少年何があったのまだ何もえどういうことここは戦争で居場所をなくした人たちが集まって暮らしている俺たちもそうだったある日突然日常が終わって何もかもが奪われた全ての自由を奪われるんだミカさんお前はどうして俺のことを気にかけてくれるんだえ子供の頃俺に助けられたからかそれとも俺は家族だからかえ,え俺はお前のなんだ<笑>ああなたは医者なり日中えもてなしてくれるみたいだおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハSo good. Is Sasha throwing up? <laughs> Probably. Wow. That was one of the best things I've seen. This is like one of the best episodes ever. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna ask. Oh. I was gonna ask if this was it. Some go, Karekara Todo Ita Tegaminiva. Jikuni Subeto Yudanero to Shirsare. Sugini Kao Awaseta Tokiniva. Mote Okretata. Hatashi. Oh, God, why? 
すべては最初から決まっていたのかもしれないそれでも考えてしまうあの時もし私が別の答えを選んでいたら結果は違っていたんじゃないかって。Oh, this is、God. This is... どこからが始まりだろう、oh. あそこかいやどこでもいい。すべては俺が望んだことすべてはこの先にあるエレン世界とエルディア双方を救うすべは俺はジークの計画に従うふりをするお前もそうしろ従うふりをして何をするんだ憲兵団はお前を巨人にして島に来たジークを食わせる計画を進めている憲兵と争うかここから逃げるしか手はない私だって他に方法はなかったあの時エレンが私をかばってくれてみんなが動いてくれたから私はそれで十分だよお前がよくても俺は違うえ世界を滅ぼすすべての敵をこの世から一匹残らず駆逐するそんなの間違ってる島の外の人すべてが敵じゃないのにあなたのお母さんみたいに突然なんで殺されるのかわからない人がほとんどなんだよ分かってるでも憎しみによる報復の連鎖を完全に集結させる唯一の方法は私はエレンあなたを何としてでも止めないと二度と胸を張って生きていくことができない耐え難いなら始祖の力で記憶を操作する<笑>それまでお前が黙っている<笑>そんなことできるさお前はあの時俺を救ってくれた世界一悪い子なんだ<笑>頭痛悪化マン一族に特有の疾患があるなんて巨人学やクサバーさんからも聞いたことないな記録じゃ生存本能が刺激された時悪化マンは力に目覚めるって場合が多いようだな宿主を守る習性そんなものないと思うぞ<笑>俺が思うにはなあエレンその行為には正体も修正もやむにやまれる理由もないただお前のためなら巨人をひねり殺せるくらい<笑>お前のことが好きなだけだ<笑> Which means she, he、really、cares. Yeah. でお前はどう答えるてんさん俺は長生きしてもあと4年しかないんだぞ<笑>私が子供を作るのはどうおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Oh, not Jesus Christ, what is happening in this episode? Shit. This is this is all、oh, this is so hype. Are we gonna see them? 
I want to see it. Damn. Oh my <laughs> god. They got no chance though. Oof. They're swimming. That's how they swim. Wait. I did not oh. think that's how they, they, they. I didn't think they swam like that. Look at them. They're, they're moving. So many, they're they moving fast. Man's out here. How are they moving that fast? That is terrifying. There's too many of them. That is so scary, though. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Yeah, you're done. Oh my. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Imagine seeing that. Yeah, like. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh, oh my wait. god! Wait, it's one of my favorite tracks. Yeah. Wow. This is. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Wow. Wait, oh my huge. god. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, look at him. Oh my god. This is the best thing ever. Well, it's not. But. Oh, wow, they even re. Wow, they uh, reanimated it. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, it's the intro. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Wait, we didn't get the intro or the outro for that episode. <laughs> no, we thought we were going to get it all. This was like the end. What? Before we begin, we were aware that there's going to be a part three. So yeah. we, we already knew that beforehand in case you guys were curious but that was a fucking badass way to announce that right shit. especially with that just happened so fast after yeah everything was just on pace oh my god what was wow. that episode that might be one of my favorite episodes in the show man i mean like f yeah we got a lot that episode got a lot of everything. had everything i ever could have wanted in it yeah it did it had all of our like side not side questions but like things we've wanted to yeah. see for a long time since this season started right right but i don't know it just had too many elements like is it there was just like the family element of them all yeah, and then oh there's like the God. we got back back behind the scenes of what aaron was doing i'm so happy we got that because we've been wanting that like to get a little bit more backstory i thought we weren't going to get it i thought it was done yeah i mean i, I really wasn't humbling. expecting it to be like this far in man we got to go back we saw aaron actually like cut off his leg and and stab his eye and all that i i, I, I thought we were to gonna get that, that. yeah oh, yeah and I, we did get it it just took a while and him and zeke talking more <sighs> yeah so so to me that was, i mean it was kind of cool because it was like big brother little brother talking about mm -hmm. like girls or something right. but i don't know to me that was a pretty significant scene because aaron was talking about mikasa with yeah him, as in like He's curious as into. Oh. I mean, I think he's like in love with her. He's definitely mm. in love with her too. Yeah. So, not just a loving thing. Like he actually asked her those those questions. Mm -hmm. So that was to me heartbreaking, especially because now she thinks it's her fault for coming up with the wrong answer when you deep down know she really wanted to answer something else. Right. Yeah, and I mean, in the flashback, just see Aaron like just looking around and it's being like, in his mind, he's like, "Wow, I'm about to, I'm gonna." probably destroy all of you like i'm gonna kill all of you right here yeah i mean and you saw at the end because that's the same that was the same place right that they were yeah i so. mean that's probably why he was crying not because of the beautiful gathering and the people yeah. there and the survivors which he probably was tearful for that but also knowing he probably is going to kill them yeah he's gonna have to yeah for I his know. people 
Oh my god. Yeah, I do like this though because it puts in more perspective of Aaron's point of view. Because mm -hmm. before we only saw him in his very stoic attitude. Yeah. This was like we got the hybrid of how he turned. Right. So it's like you really get put in his shoes better, and it's like, okay, well, if I'm Aaron, I can see myself doing this too. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. For the people I, I love. So it's fucking dark, mm -hmm. but that's life. I don't know. I in know in this right. world, in this world, yes. I, I don't think I could do what he's doing. But still, I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, for me, though, the highlight of the episode was the Aaron Mikasa stuff. Oh, that's, that's but, whole, that scene was so good, too. Yeah, but I've said that's my, been my favorite part about this show since the beginning. Right. Since Now that we're watching season one again, too, I'm like, mm -hmm. now I, I remember why I loved their relationship so much. Yeah. And it's been on the back end for a long time. And it kind of, like, came back up here, which was surprising <sighs> to me. I was not expecting this to be this episode. No. Not at all. No, that was not at all. That was the last thing I, I thought it was just gonna continue right after like the boat and all that. Like, we kind of already he's, saw his size, but we really saw his size. That dude, and it, his, I love his design. Huge. And the Titans were swimming. And they were just gonna like walk, walk on the, like, like wait, parts the ocean, of the Caribbean shit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, right. Yeah, but they were swimming fast. I mean, so funny and like not funny, but it was. It was, it was a little comical, it. honestly. It, well, the swimming was kind of strange. Colossal Titans just yeah. swimming. Like, yeah. I did not expect. That was the last thing I expected. That, that's scary, man. And they're huge, especially when they get out of the water and you look at them. You're like, yeah, they're massive. The music too was. This might have been one of the best. This was the best episode of the season when it comes to music. It was good. Everything was just so good. This was definitely one of the best episodes. It was definitely the best ep one of the best of the season for oh, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. It, it, we just watched it. Was it was just so. a change of pace. It was really like happy and upbeat, and then it got super dark. <laughs> but. I just love watching the camaraderie between all of them. You know? I know. I mean, that's, that's like the best part of the show to me is like the scouts and seeing them like this all together. Mm -hmm. And they're all there. They got so drunk So too. sad. Yeah. It was yeah. so, so wholesome, this episode. And then it ends like that? This, with all that stress? Like, fuck. This episode had no chill. No. Every five seconds there was something going on. It was like whipping your fucking... Yeah, yeah, I was getting whiplash. I think they were doing that on purpose. Where it was going scene, 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 yeah. scene. Yeah. Like, his story his was story in this was episode. We finally his story back. Too. That was an incredible scene. This episode had, every, had, this episode had everything I could have wanted. Yeah. But now I'm curious. Like, they made it seem like that's Aaron's baby now. And it's like... Yeah, right? Is, is, it, is it some is it? farmer dude or is it Aaron? I don't know. <laughs> but I, don't think I think we is. just want it to be. It probably isn't. I don't think it is. Not after that conversation. Yeah. But I don't know. That was crazy. We got so much. Yeah. But, like, it's because it was so unexpected. Right. I don't know. Like, things can be unexpected where it's, like, the Warrior episode where Bertha and Reiner transform and you're like, what the fuck? They're, a huge they're the plot colossal. Twist, you know? Yeah, huge plot twist. To me, this was, like, a plot twist when it comes to pacing. Ex where yes. I was like, whoa, I was not expecting to get something like this doesn't feel like for the finale. Part of like the season. Yeah, and it's a finale, yeah. Yeah, and that was, to me that was a perfect way to do it because it, it did like show us all these things we wanted to see yeah. that we didn't get to see. We didn't think we were going to get again. I agree. So they went back. I, will so I like that. I will say too that season four, part two, has kind of been all over the place a little bit. It has. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it, it really like, I don't know. It's all, I feel like every three episodes, it's like something different. Like a lot the, different. The too. pacing this part was kind of strange. It was not my favorite. I would I'll say that. I still think the first part far outshined the I, second. I half, agree. I agree. But it still had like its moments, like this episode, for yeah. instance. Well, the first part was is my favorite time time we ever got. Oh, part one. Part of one of season, season four. four. Yeah. yeah, I'm at the beginning of this part. Oh, gotcha. See, I like that was like the beginning of this part two, was like legit no chill yes, like that shit was, that was nuts there was so God. much that was crazy that was, it was fucking amazing and then the second part of part two slowed down a bit mm -hmm. yes of this this part is what i'm saying right but, but yeah part one was good too i don't know this whole show in general has been incredible oh yeah so. absolutely i mean there still has never been like a bad episode <laughs> not really no i don't think so no i mean even the ovas are like insanely good the Ovas could have, like, their own show. Ovas could be better than a lot of episodes. They are, actually. I think you can rank them in there, yeah. They're not at the bottom of the list. But... I mean, Mikasa's Ova is still one of the best episodes I've seen on this show. Yeah, her and Possibly Levi's. Possibly top five. Yeah, yeah, Levi's was great, Levi's too. Levi's was really good. He, he was the a two-parter. Two -parter. Yeah. That was our first Ova. Mm -hmm. oh, that was so wow, cool. that was a long time ago. I know, right? We saw it ruin, too. Like, wow, we've gone through a lot. <laughs> I love the reanimation we see too, especially because we're watching, we're rewatching season one right now. 
yeah it's like to see some of the reanimates like we saw they reanimated the scene when his mom dies i yep. was like well like a, like no, that was kind of cool to see interesting yeah still i probably prefer Wait, yeah but but it's okay like I, they I still, still did like, a great job shit but this episode looked animation this episode was so good i feel like the past couple episodes it wasn't as good they I feel like, like they, were, like, they, they saved this. their budget for the last five like episodes the too. for this episode <laughs> yeah well and because the first couple episodes were crazy yeah like yeah, beyond they had crazy. To put a lot of stuff into that. Was that was a good episode. Great finale too. Oh, it was a perfect way to end it, and it, it it's nice. It's bittersweet, but it's nice knowing we have the next part still. Yeah. So it's like, I thought this was gonna be over. Like the way this episode happened, I thought when it ended, I was gonna be like, oh no, it's it's over. Yeah, right. Right now, I'm kind of like, like oh, I got shit. I think I got Here enough. we go. Like they gave me enough. You know. Yeah. If anything, it's just like anxiety inducing. Like, oh <laughs> right. my god. Now we have to wait for the next part. I don't, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. it. Yeah, I know what you're saying, though, because I felt the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like, oh, it's over. I just feel like, oh, shit. But, yeah, I loved this part. Mm -hmm. As a whole, it was pretty good. But then it had its shining moments like this episode. Yeah, it definitely did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I've, I have mixed feelings about this part. I really enjoy it. I, I do. But there's just some things that were, like, I guess I wasn't the biggest fan of, you know? I'm in the same boat, yeah. Uh, uh, the, this part yeah. definitely shined up until the rumbling. Yeah, I agree. Then, uh, then after the rumbling, it was kind of like, still great. Right. Just not... It was honestly when Aaron left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aaron kind of carried a little bit of this part a little bit. Because, like, seeing him again was like, oh, we're back. there's Aaron. Yeah, there's Aaron. This is the main, there's Aaron. This is our main character right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I went, I mean we're a little biased, obviously, but yeah <laughs> just a little bit but right now i mean in season one through three we we aaron we knew everything about mm. it was everyone else we didn't know about no. now we know about everyone else but not aaron like aaron's the only one we don't know what he's going on in his head and all that but even in this episode everything we found out quote about aaron we kind of already knew in a way yeah like we kind of already knew every, everything that happened in this episode wasn't like surprising no no, no. it was more of just filling in the gaps for us. It was nice to see. I guess. It. Yeah, it, it was more of like a like an entertainment episode in a way. No, because you're right. There wasn't. Any, I didn't learn anything new. I don't think there wasn't one time this episode. I was like, oh, so Aaron, like that's you know. Yeah. Like, okay. The only like, the only except thing with maybe the flock stuff. That's about it. Yeah. Besides that, the only thing I learned was the there's definitely a deeper meaning, I think, long term for the story with Aaron Mikasa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how that plays out from the beginning because they kind of like I said earlier. They kind of put that down back for a little bit ever since he told her that the the scene where they had their conversation at the table. Yeah, yeah. Um, still, big highlight for me was definitely the Aaron Mikasa scenes. No, I agree. Like it, by it really far, because that's been my favorite stuff since the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. And now it kind of like I get that vibe of, damn, they both love each other. Like, <laughs> are they're both in love, but they don't know how to place it. Like, mm. They don't know what to do with it. Right, exactly. And now Aaron has to do all of this. <laughs> yeah for his freedom mm -hmm. for his people so obviously what he's doing isn't the greatest stuff we've said that for a while now but it's not far-fetched at all right it's like i can definitely see him doing this and i like how she mentioned was aaron the same from the beginning because he kind of always he has always has been. been this is what he's always wanted yes was freedom so yeah hmm. and we got a flashback of opening of the first episode of the show yeah we got that yeah under the tree again <laughs> this episode had everything <laughs> it kind of did <laughs> like it really did yeah i loved that i mean sasha was in it like yeah even though they had to show her shot again yeah they do that they got ice cream they got ice cream it's a big highlight big highlight yeah and a levi being levi it's nice to see him like not messed up <laughs> i guess yeah you know but levi Ooh, there's kind of a parallel there because Levi was that child once in his life. He was, yeah. And the thief, yeah. Yeah. So he knows exactly what that kid's kind of gone through. Right. That's probably... Wow. That's... It really makes me be like, yeah, Aaron, just kill them all, you know? Yeah. But obviously, like Historia said, not all of them are bad. No, it works the exact same as the world we live in yes. right now. Yeah, true, true. That's the, that's the basis of the show. It's all true to form. Like, mm -hmm. this is just how the world works yeah. in our time, too. This is just a more colossal scale. True. Like, of 
Literally. fantasy and yeah crazy shit yeah but it still almost every concept of the show can be taken to our lives in the mm. real world which I, I guarantee the author was trying to put across oh. he definitely yeah. has all of that in mind yeah, yeah because this show is so relatable in an extent mm-hmm. just in a higher scale i agree yeah but god damn is it a beautiful show best show i've ever seen right yeah Definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Like, what a journey this is. Oh, my been, gosh. Man. It's so great. Now we got to wait. 23, I but know. it's worth it. We like, never really had to wait, wait. I think we only waited now, like yeah. a month for this part. Now we, now we got to wait. But we'll wait with the rewatch. The rewatch is going to help. The rewatch is going to help. But, I mean, I, I, we can't complain because everyone else has waited years and years yeah. and years. But now we officially have to wait. I know. Like we, we're, ca- we're, we're officially caught up with everybody. We've been officially caught up yeah. technically. But we're good now. Yeah. Man, I kind of want to watch that episode again. I know, right? That was yeah. so good. It's one of those episodes where you can watch over and over, I think. Yeah. Just I because think so. because of the wholesome moments and yeah. stuff. Like the it wasn't purely a depressing episode. Right, it just right. had everything. But it was depressing. That's the crazy thing. It did, I don't Because know. like it was so wholesome and having them all gathered and just having that part like, oh, it was just felt so good. Mm-hmm. But then there's the moments where, you know, you see Aaron the way he is and it's like Man, yeah, they really tried to make you relate with him this episode they, they a lot really, because it, it worked. I already, you know, had like things with Aaron where I relate to some of it. I don't know the way they did this episode was very well done mm-hmm. when it comes to like connecting you back with the characters of the show. Yes, I agree. I loved that mm-hmm. standouts. Standouts for this episode: Aaron Historia talking, yes, Mikasa and Aaron scenes, and. Just seeing all of our characters have a good time. Together, yeah, yeah that, that, to me, those were Just the highlights of this episode. And all that. Yes. I love that. that was everything I kind of wanted to see. Probably highlights of the season. Rumbling. Oh, without doubt, rumbling. The paths. That was probably my favorite. Yeah. And possibly this episode. <laughs> yeah. No, I would, I, would, I would go with those too. Yeah. Uh,. I guess Annie coming back too was a great one. Annie coming back was incredible. There was some moments. Uh, man. Falco getting the jaw tie, and I really liked it because that whole thing was really cool. Yeah, just the whole first couple episodes were just so action packed. Oh they were so much God. fun. And getting his head shot off. Two like, brothers. What? Two brothers. That was. I mean, that was one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. Just the whole Grisha like scene with Zeke and Aaron too. Like, oh my God. Just the first half. The, uh, the we got Ymir. The whole backstory in Ymir, which was Ymir's crazy. entire backstory. Yeah. Yeah. See, we did get a lot this season. There was a lot of good characters. Like, I think Flock was a great villain. Like, I, I really yeah. think he was. I don't like him, but yeah. I think he was a good character. Yeah. We got a lot of answers. Like we said in other reactions, it makes it a little tough now to discuss because there's no more mystery anymore. Mm. It's more we watch and Yeah, because we kind of already know what's... I mean, we kind of know everything. We just yeah, now it's, yeah. it's more of like a mission based. Like, let's watch them succeed or yeah, not exactly. succeed. Mm-hmm. Which I guess makes sense for a finale because you can't really keep having mysteries and more mysteries because no. you know you got to end it somehow. Yeah. But yeah, this uh, this fourth season is gonna have three. That's great, <laughs> right? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I'm so happy that it's a series. I'm I am and not a movie. Like a movie would have been cool and all, but movie's cool. But I prefer the series. Yes, definitely. And that's how, how the show's always gonna been. Be, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whew, I'm excited. Yeah. It'll probably come quick, honestly. True. I mean, man, I just want to read the manga so badly. <laughs> I know. And I might now because it's it's a long way away. It's a long way away, yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just catch up right to here. <laughs> right. I'll probably end up doing that. Because it's too long now. Mm-hmm. I mean, the show's not even <laughs> over. Too, the show's not even over. I know. we got to wait so long. But I'm not as sad about this episode as I thought I was going to be. Yeah. Because we know there's more, right? Which was a, it's a good feeling. It's it's a little there's some bittersweetness to it, but I'm not like depressed that it's over. Mm-hmm. I I feel the same way. Yeah, I really do. Like I thought I would be. I thought we were gonna be more like. I sad. think a rewatch helps though. <laughs> I, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> maybe because we are kind of reliving it, and it does feel different. Yeah, and I love this show. I really do, but. The show can be so depressing where it might be kind of nice to like get a little break from it. Yes, because <laughs> you know we do, we I think we do need this year to calm I really down. I think we do. Yeah, because it that, is depressing. This last part, mm-hmm. so this part was crazy depressing. 
everything about this, man. The yeah. show only gets more depressing. True. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God we got shows like Jujutsu and Demon Slayer. Yeah, right? Brighten the mood a bit. Well, we need something, man. We've only been... I thought some SpongeBob. Let's go. Yeah, we should put that on the channel. Man, it's starting to hit me now, this episode. It really is. Huh? Me too. It's just taking a bit. It's take, It's taking a bit because now I'm starting to get sad. Me too. <laughs> now I'm not realizing it. Wait, we got to wait till 2023. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long ways away. We're, That's in, a long... we're in April. Yeah. We have a lot to go. Hopefully it's early. Hopefully it's like January, like this part. Yeah, it hopefully it Please. is. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I want to watch the Mikasa Aaron scenes again. Right? Yeah. It's just been a while. I haven't gotten a lot of that. Standout characters of this season. Aaron, number one. Yes. For sure. Oh, Aaron. I mean, he's our favorite character. Yeah. And this season made me like him even more. <laughs> like This, Aaron already had layers, and now it's, he's just one of the best written characters ever. Possibly yeah. the best. No, I, I, for me, I think he's the best ring character I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, Aaron by far a standout. Zeke was a standout. Zeke was a big standout. I think that's also why the first part was so good of this part. The, you know, up until the rumbling. Right. Because he was, them two were kind of the whole show at that point. To give a third, I think we both agree. Um, we've loved Jean this season. Yeah. Like, loved him. I know. He's he's honestly one of my, he could be my top three favorite characters. No, Jean was Jean a, was great. Jean was great. Uh, He's always been a great character, though. Other so many characters stood out, I but love then Falco. but then I'll also say some of our bigger characters kind of under were kind of thrown yeah, under the so bus. That's what a little I was going to say. Obviously, Levi is a huge one. He was barely yes. in it, and that was a little sad. Yeah. Uh, Even I guess Hanji, Hanji too. too. Uh, I I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of Connie. This part, like he was going through so much, like, going, so uh, it's hard to judge. He was, he was, right. he was being very realistic, though. He was, and then I also kind of think that, and they're like my favorite characters in the show too. I mean, there's so many. Every character is a favorite character, honest. Yeah, but like, I feel like Armin and Mikasa. I agree. Didn't I was gonna say that too? Yeah, I feel like they have kind of been put in the background a little too much i know like armin especially after rewatching the show armin i feel like it's supposed to be you know he was they were growing him into like the next erwin he was supposed to be yeah. Erwin's successor and all that like he was supposed to do great things especially we got he got the colossal mm -hmm. we didn't really get any of that he i feel like no. we didn't get armin the smart like he was thinking of playing like like we didn't get that yeah but i do there's also a part of me that likes it because yeah it would have been too in a sense on this show, it's very realistic, so maybe it could have been too far fetched of just That's having true. it. True, like it's not fun if the character comes out perfect. Look at Aaron; mm -hmm. he's like our protagonist from the beginning. He's still our protagonist now, but he's technically a villain of the show. Yeah, in a way, and to <laughs> some, depending on your point of view, because technically he's not a villain then, depending on what your what your stance is on all right. of this. But same with Mikasa, I feel like she had to take a little backseat too for all the other characters. She did. But I felt that a lot with some of these characters mm. sometimes. So I don't know. But this episode was nice. <laughs> I agree. Like Mikasa got more scenes, luckily. But it was because of her relationship with Aaron mm. more so. Which has always been their it's dynamic been their character, anyways. Yeah. Yes. And their relationship together. Yeah. The thing I like about Mikasa's character, and I've never really like said it, is to me, she's, for me personally, is one of the, my most relatable characters. Mm-hmm. I don't know what for me she embodies love and the love for others and protection for others and that's kind of like my whole vibe mm. I don't know that's like right that's what I love and one of my favorite characters on the show for sure and yeah. why I've always loved her her and Aaron's relationship together because it's been very special to me because it's just I feel it and I understand where she's coming from yeah and it's definitely important especially after everything we've we now know from this episode which was very nice even though we've already came to the conclusion ourselves that aaron was lying to her and he does love her and the fact that mikasa thought that maybe it was true but we know it's not because when we had the mikasa flashback episode or the uh lost girls episode it showed that mikasa fell in love with aaron yeah. without aaron even being it wasn't the founding a, a, a titan yeah, yeah. So, so it, it was inevitable. They were always meant to like mm -hmm. love each other in a sense. Yeah. So 
that's just a small thing about this show that I really enjoy because this show doesn't have a lot of romance and all of that but it doesn't need the romance aspects because I don't even see it as that I see it more as pure genuine in love like I don't know you know what I'm saying I know exactly what you're saying yeah yeah so that's another aspect of the show that I've really appreciated and this episode helped with that mm-hmm. a good bit right I agree but yeah I love I, I just love Aaron McCoss's bond but that's just one of so many things I love about this show, mm-hmm. too. Just that one's probably one of my more favorites. Yeah, no, Could you've been be saying favorite. that since, since first episode, really. No, yeah. I, I agree with you, too, Yeah, on all, on all those things, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's my favorite character, and I understand why he's doing it. Yeah. Like, I don't want him to kill innocent people, but at the yeah. same time, I'm, like, kind of ruined for it for yeah. some reason. But then even the scouts, like, I'm not the, I haven't been the biggest fan of this, the new scouts. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who to root for We've been watching this show for 11 months, 10 or 11 months, Mm -hmm. and I still have no idea what, 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 what's, what's next. Like, what's, yeah, what's to come. (laughs) I'm guessing the rumbling. (laughs) That's the only thing I can guess, I guess. Well, he's there. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to catch up. No idea. I I don't know. Aaron is like, you can't stop him. Like, you can't. There was always a part of me that thought, we said this, mm-hmm. that this was all Aaron's plan to get the whole world to work together to face Yeah, we did say that a while him. ago. But no, it's just he's doing it for the people he loves. Yes. Which is still a noble cause. Uh-huh. Just the predicament we're in is like, genocide's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's not good. Damn, dude. This show is incredible. <laughs> yes, it really is. Especially yeah. when you like, really sit down and think about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this series with us so far. Um, still have one more part to go. Show's not over, so we're not going anywhere. But you will have to wait with us for a while <laughs> for the next reactions when it comes to the next part. But do stay tuned for our uh, rewatch if you're into that. If you're not, it's fine. But... It has been a nice breath, a lot breath of, of fresh air. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it is. We catch, we pick up on so many things. It so. feels like a different show, it too. It does, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there's that. Um, yeah, overall, it's been an incredible journey. Couldn't ask for anything better. Wasn't expecting for this just all to feel like this. Like, there isn't really words for it. And it's not over. So it's almost like we can't even conclude anything here. We can't, like yeah, We yeah. can't say goodbye. It's no, more of, we'll, be back. we'll see you later. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we just hope you guys have been loving our videos. And we've been loving making them. Oh, sure. We enjoy this a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. I enjoy your company, too. Like, Oh, that's been it's great. I mean, that's amazing. one of my favorite parts is us, too. That's the best part. things together, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's what we've always done in our entire lives, but it's fun to do it with, with other people. people. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's not like people are just watching us. It feels like we're watching it with everyone else. It and does. It's, like, it's such a weird feeling. It's a great feeling. It is. It's an undescribable feeling. Yes. To say the least. Like I, does, I, when, I was, when we sit here and watch this, it doesn't feel like it's just me and you. It feels like we have... Like, people are Everyone, watching us like, behind us. Exactly. Like, oh, we're all we're watching, all this, watching together. this together. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's been really nice. Very wholesome. Very. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's a gift. It feels like a gift. Kind it of. does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. Um, again, we just really hope you guys are enjoying because we are. And we love this. And we hope you guys are loving this. And, yeah. Uh, we love you guys. And we'll catch you guys for the next part. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll catch you for the next episode. Have a good one, guys.